is well. It is well. It is well. It is well with my soul. Sunday school now starting, don't you? Reckon you ought to go up there and play just oh, one last movie? Mama, I told you, I can't play the piano to church no more. David, why don't you feel it no more? What you once felt? Where's it gone? Where's the Holy Ghost? I don't Come know, on. Mama. It's empty. It's empty in here. Can't you pray? This what? is really what we need is to engage with Baldwin's material. It is still just as relevant, maybe even more relevant today. And to see the youth working with it and being creative and expressing themselves, I think that's what Strathmore is really about, going a little bit deeper and, and making the experience of the audience and people who engage with us you know, more meaningful. Mama, I want to be a man. It's time you let me be a man. You've got to let me go. I learned about him in high school, and even then, his messages were still so important. And for me, as a black queer man, seeing his stories and seeing that there was somebody back then that was doing it at such a high regard, it inspires me. You know, even through his works with Giovanni's room, you know, there's so many things about him that still rings clear today. And I feel a lot of people are forgetting about that, and it's important that we bring that to the forefront. It reminds people that James Baldwin had a lot to say, and there's a lot of power that still reverberates in this world today. Baldwin's plays join the ranks of these great works, not only for their aesthetic qualities, but because they are, according to subject matter and time, social protest dramas that depicted African-American realities that pushed back on false and negative depictions of black folks. The message is that the African-American experience is wide, where African-Americans are not monolithic. And so James Baldwin has written a play, The Amen Corner, that offers a very particular and unique look at African-Americans, particularly African-American religiosity, spirituality, and the challenges and tensions within African-American communities surrounding religion and religious practices. And so it allows us to demonstrate and illustrate the wide experiences of African-Americans. I've stopped trying to justify hate. I've stopped trying to understand prejudice because I've accepted that they are something that cannot be explained. It will always be much easier to realize that hatred will always be dense because true love will always make sense. My poem is about just feelings of love and hate. I watched the movie um, If Bill Street Could Talk and that movie was just so powerful to me. The wheel that has the power to express what had only been stuck in the head until that moment. What had been shoved beneath the soil where all fulfilling dreams are left to rot. James Baldwin's words were very evergreen because it still happens now. People still face challenges that were faced, that people during that during this time faced. And if we shove that under the rug, it's only going to be detrimental to all of us. One day. It's going to be your blood giving life to these pages. When at last the butterflies feast upon you, you will rest. And some will read your words knowing this morning, this evening, so soon, that their ancestor is also history. I truly believe that he was a scientist of the heart. He looked at things that happened in uh, popular culture and world uh, events. And then he... Um, begin to dissect not just how it happened but the hearts behind the people who were involved in these things on both sides. I ain't gonna fight with you. Not now. Not in front of the congregation. Roll the box of call me a taxi. David, close that suitcase and get yourself a coat. We got to go.